Hello everyone, my name is CJ Gamer, and welcome back to my next part of my fire walkthrough. And in this video, we will be starting as Tekka and doing the entire thing of three points until we reach the sin note. So here we go. An old colleague of mine, Edward Haley, appears to be in trouble. He's what you might call an Azteca Sorologist. Azteca Sorologist. You don't know what that is? Well, when you find him, feel free to ask him all about it. You can reach Haley's Observatory via the Stella Itzamna. That's a large stone slab kept in the Royal Museum in Malibu. Go there now and make sure he is safe and sound. Okay, let's go to Stella. Let's go to the Royal Museum, actually. So I also switched my fire setup as well, because you need one fire blade, one fire blade, and then attack, because <coughs> they stack with each other. But however, I have a TC one as well. Let's see if you can see, and then I can attack. So I should be able to do this. Goodness, those are some of Morgan's hideous bug men. Quick, you better deal with them. Nightbringer, we crush! Yeah, but you don't crush, actually. I'm sorry, but you guys don't crush. I crush you. Alright, so now I can use my clavicle field on my... and then I can attack. You all will perish and die. Okay, I already have my plus 40. Alrighty then. So 
So now I just need my mask and my... There it is. And then I can attack. Oops. Sometimes I forget to do this. At times. Especially on my storm, I did. I forget to uh, put blades back in. Because once I get my blade sharpened on my storm, then I should be able to do it. So, you know. But I might switch my boss deck up here and take this out and try sirens here. And see if that actually works. I only have a blade on there. Uh, point. There we go. Yep, see, that's how you do it, people. Yeah, see, you guys, you guys knew you were gonna get crushed. So what's the point in fighting me, huh? By the spiral, <coughs> thank you for saving me from those terrifying creatures. I had just received the most unusual visitor when those those brutes appeared and attacked. Yes, a Quetzal arrived with a message tied around her neck. What's a Quetzal? They're a type of winged snake from Azteca. They're all extinct now. Well, they're supposed to be. Maybe this one hadn't heard. Quetzals were known to be vicious and protective, or occasionally tame. I'll let you find out what type she is. If you gently collect the Quetzal from the garden, we can have a look at the message she's carrying. Step up to the Quetzal. She's some sort of winged snake. A little bit cute, even. She seems to like you. She loves me. That's sure. <clears throat> yes, well done. Now try to slip the message off her neck. Ah, you got the message and didn't lose any fingers. Good, good. Nice, Quetzal. Clever girl. It says, Great Magicians of Bartleby, Azteca trembles in the shadow of Shabalba. Please come at once for our salvation. It is signed by three names, Pakal Redmask, Tezcat Three Star, and Zalen Reedwalker. Why, there's a spiral key here. I thought they were all lost when Azteca was destroyed by a great comet a decade ago. But perhaps we were all wrong, and Azteca persists. Quick, let us look through the telescope at the top of the observatory. Sometimes I always do this as well. Can he actually go anywhere else in here? Because this is the Wizard's Watchtower house. Yeah, you can. That's actually really cool. They didn't block it off or anything. Which is nice. Mm. 
you see, a new spiral world, or more accurately, a very, very old world. The comet that encircles the world looks like a bad omen to you. It seems very bad, yes. Yes, indeed. You were able to see the spiral world? For the longest time, I could only see a cloud of dust in the night sky. The Aztecosaurs are the oldest race in the spiral. Their ancestors lived in the first world before it shattered. I assumed Azteca was lost, but perhaps there is yet hope for the Aztecosaurs, a wonderful, creative, and fierce people. I'm reminiscing too much, aren't I? You must take this Quetzal and her message back to Cyrus Drake at Ravenwood immediately. Okay. Um... I might not need that going. There we go. Turns. What do you have with you? A Quetzal! Remarkable! I had no idea Azteca still survived. It is a place of the oldest powers and greatest legends. This message you recovered is fascinating. Clearly a cry for help. Someone really should investigate and see what is going on. You would best bring this news to Headmaster Ambrose. Yes, Cyrus Drake, I should, shouldn't I? I just summon you. Cyrus sent you here. Is it myth related? Is it myth related? A messenger from Azteca. You say the poor creature was being chased by Morgant's minions. Oh, very worrisome. Let's take a look at that message. Oh my. A plea for help against the forces of shadow. Years ago, Azteca was cut off from the rest of the spiral by a great comet. Many believed it was destroyed. But I was not so sure. The spiral now reveals this world to us in its darkest hour. It falls upon us to act. Take the key this brave Quetzal brought us and travel through Bartleby's spiral door to Azteca. Find this Pakal red mask and bring light to drive away the shadows. Go quickly, young wizard, but be careful. I suspect Morgant's hand in this somewhere.
All right, let's go to Azteca. By Mother Moon, I cannot quite believe it. I was afraid I would remain alone and be forced to see our light extinguished. I am Pakal Redmask, young magician. I am one of the three mystics who wove the spells that guided our messenger to you. But as you see, I stand alone at the edge of the City of Three Winds. My allies, Tesca Three Star and Zaylin Reedwalker are lost. The comet Shibaba brought the Shadow Queen to Azteca, and she has laid waste with her Umbra Legion. My allies are gone. I beg your help. Confront the crazed Thunderhorns in Three Points, beyond the Zocolo, to learn what happened to Tesca Three Star. This Dakota Storm pedal. The Zocalo. A craze to Thunderhorn. Here we go. Most of this I can solo myself with my deck, but like uh, about the minions anyway. I should try. Whoa! Where's that night we were going? Outside that, outside the map. You guys will see why I hate Azteca so much. I just hate this world so much because of the bosses and how much damage they do. Huh, well, maybe I might what I might be able to do here. Well, maybe. I might try this. Yeah. With my sirens and my 
Leviathan. Let's see if that actually works. On my There's a few reasons why I hate s -Eggots. because Well, one of it, one of them is because it's too long. I hate, I hate how long it is. Alright guys, so I'm gonna pause the video and then come back once I have defeated the crazed Thunderhorns. So we'll see you guys then. Chase him into the mall. They chase Old Man Huey Huey. I like saying that. Old Man Huey Huey. It sounds like that's like Egyptian or Chinese or something. Huey Huey. Old Man Huey Huey. Fled into the mall that leads underground where the hungry dead stir. When a comet Chibalba first appeared in the sky, ten cycles past, the Aztecas or Oracles pronounced doom. So they fled underground to live in the mines and dwell among their dead. The mall is the entrance to the caverns of the Cenote. But when the Shadow Queen arrived, the dead awoke. And they were hungry. Let us be closer to the city. Meet me in the Zocalo proper. Like a place large and safe enough to evoke the sun serpent? Ah. Never let it be said I sent a young magician. Ah. While the Shadow Queen has left the City of Three Winds, her Umbra Legion has agents everywhere. It is crucial we find Tesca Three Star down in the Cenote and make sure he is safe. You can get there through the Ma. Uh, probably in the next video I'm gonna probably do the Sun Serpent. Possibly. Since I'm level 89, almost level 90. <laughs> the Maw is blocked off by a ton of rubble. No easy way through here. It looks like it was deliberately caved in by something powerful. Maybe Pakal Red Mask knows another way in. Dastardly diversion! Find the alchemist Sheeply Tailbiter in three points. He's a bit... different. But he might have a good idea for clearing a path. Strange creature, can you make an agreeable sound? Can you understand me? 
You need to get through the rubble to rescue Tezcat Three Star into the Maw? <laughs> I can perhaps help you with that. If you will help me gather some ingredients, I can make you a strong concoction. Go to Lack Willow Smoke Eye and ask for Salt of Stone. Then, Kanaka Sweet Chile for Sulphur, and Charcoal from Poteca White Ash. And then, then you'll see Tezcat Three Star! <laughs> Shoeing hat in the Shipley tail biter sent you for some salt of stone. I have some that's been boiled down, filtered, and sun dried. Yes, you can have some, but well, make sure you don't stand too close when he performs his experiment. Some sulfur for Shipley Tailbiter? I would like to help you, little one, but the crazed Thunderhorns took it from me. Perhaps if you confront them in three points, you can get some sulfur from them. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna pause the video and then come back once I have defeated three crazed Thunderhorns. So, see you guys then. Alright, guys, so I have defeated the enemies Shipley wants charcoal? That fool! Does he want to burn us all to our end before the comet strikes us down? Yes, yes, you can have some but I dropped it in my rush to get to safety You'll have to collect it from three points on your own <sighs> That does not even look like charcoal um, you know what? I might actually be able to get this one once this dude moves. Thank you. And now I gotta edit all these videos before I can uh, do any more videos for tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be doing the sin note. The entire thing of the sin note. Maybe. You've got everything? <laughs> now with the salt of stone, the charcoal, and the lovely sulfur, we can make a strong concoction. Mmm, smells lovely, doesn't it? Take this carefully, carefully, and when you get close to the rubble, throw it hard and then run for your life. Boom! <laughs> I mean, uh, move back a safe distance, and then find Tezcat Three Star in Zenote. I hope you're not standing too close. Boom! Big bada boom! <laughs> Excuse me, but one of your items has just overflowed into your bank. This happens when you, if you'd like more space in your level bank, ninety, always purchase a handy hand backpack elixir from the Crown Shop. That's a lot of rubble to clear to get into the Maw. You hope Shipley's strong concoction lives up to its name. It sure smells strong, like rotten eggs. You throw the strong concoction with all your might, and then hunker down for safety. That was a big bada-boom. As the smoke and dust clear, you can see a path into the Maw. That was a big bada-boom! That was a big bada boom. All right, guys. So I'm going to end this video here. And if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure you smash that like button, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification so then you guys can know when I post a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.